MLB the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. The Yanks attempt to break out the brooms against their first place division rivals right after this. Matt Shoemaker a right hander from Michigan is the starter on the mound. What do we need to know here Danny. Hey man we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately in his last three starts he has a whip of over one point five zero lots of base runners lots of hits and lots of walks and that doesn't add up to very good performances so he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. So we here's the veteran Brett Gardner and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Right. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Underway this afternoon as the first pitch of the game is hit in the air to left field. Hernandez is there. One pitch, one out. Got second. The third baseman, Gio Urshela. Coming to the plate now, Gio Urshela. He enters play sixth in the American League in the batting race. What a terrific season this guy's having. Up near the leaders in batting average, without a doubt the highest average and the best hitter on this team. Here's the first pitch to him. And he takes ball one. And Dan DeRow, the Blue Jays, as they enter play here this afternoon, they come in playing reasonably well of late, though they have dropped their last two in a row. Yeah, man, nothing they'd like to do more than to salvage this one, D-Roll. After this one, they go on the road for a seven-game road trip, so big to get this win here today. Yeah, last game in front of the home folks before you go out for a week. This is a big one. They're going to get it done. Urshela hits right-handed pitching very well, makes a lot of contact, but he generally isn't known for displaying a lot of power. You'll see a lot of line drives and ground balls from him in these situations. Yeah, I almost think he has too good of hand-eye coordination, Matty. Sometimes maybe just attacks that pitch that's not there to do major damage with, but could just drive it up the middle the other way and take his knock, and that's what he's been able to do. Two balls and two strikes now. So let's take a peek at our umpire and crew in this one. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. Hey, d -Row, Larry Bullard, he's pretty much right down the middle. You see very few managers and players getting into very many confrontations with Larry. Yeah, Larry lays in the weeds, Dan. Doesn't try and make it about him, and that's what the players love. He's got a pretty consistent strike zone, and he's approachable. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Nice slide and a stop by Panic. He is out! Wow, what a great show of range there. This ball looked like it might get through up the middle, but check out the sliding stop, and that's going to take him right into a good throwing position where he's able to get enough on the throw to get him out at first. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He's hitting 333 in the series, two for six. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A solo shot here to left. 19th home run for him on the season as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. This guy has been a serious thorn in the side of the staff. Homering twice in three days. The numbers don't lie. He owns these guys right now. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. Here comes the first pitch. 
And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The 0-2 once more. Misses for ball one. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. The one two is taken for ball two. He started this guy backwards. Couple of off speed pitches early followed by back to back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2 in that last pitch on 2-2 two two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Smoke toward the hole. Shaw fields it cleanly, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run. On to the bottom of the first, New York off to a 1-0 lead. James Paxton, a left-handed Canadian, gets the starting assignment here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you take a look at that ERA. That's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do... If he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely needs to start pitching a lot better than he has up to this point. And it'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around in this one. And he fouls this one off. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Panic, a six foot one inch left handed hitter, but throws right handed. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. Some guys only get to free agency one time in their career. This guy has a chance to get there for a second time and in the prime of his career. Is he able to handle the pressure as he plays out this final season? The next 0 2. into center field line drive base hit definitely tried to elevate the heater right there with two strikes but caught that way too much of the plate the nice execution hitter. by the hitter oh. yeah. ready now Bo Bichette and he really thrives in the batter's box here at home something to keep an eye on in this one From the stretch. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They've got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team has been playing really well right now. And, and and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another one-nothing lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on attack, early offensive, almost ambush-like approaches to their at bats, and it's working for them. Panic aboard here at first with nobody out. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Outside. 
can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Lourdes Gurriel is on deck. Hit down the line at first. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Hit hard. But this is a foul ball. Donnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. In now, Lourdes Guriel. High and deep to left center field. Gardner going back. He's not going to have a play on it. And this might bring home the runner from first. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. And I think that may have been a situation where that the runner on first was waiting to see if the ball was going to get down or not. If there were two outs, he most likely scores there. Instead, he has to hold it third. Can't really fault him for that, though. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez in the dirt and block behind the plate. And the runners will stay put here on ball one. The 1 0. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. The 1 1. That ball two. Two one. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Hey, there's a ton of reasons I could give to you as to why this guy has been such a good pitcher in his career. But I think this is the biggest one. His ability to work out of nasty jams. Two guys in scoring position right here. Interested to see how he works out of this. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. So Oscar Hernandez becomes out number two this inning. Here's Randall Gritchick as he'll take a change up here for strike one. Runners at second and third with two gone. Now a cut fastball but that doesn't threaten the zone it's even at one. Here's the one one. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Haxton, also known as Big Maple due to his Canadian roots, he was a fourth-round selection back in the 2010 first-year player draft. Hey, when you come out in the middle rounds, you have to grind for everything, and that's exactly what this guy has done, and he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. The cash in here as the run is in to score from third. You know, Dero as a pitcher, that could be so frustrating. You're taught to try to go out there and make quality pitches, and that was a really good pitch. And I would be willing to bet you he's surprised that that turned into an infield single. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's smiling. That hitter smiling, running down first base, knowing he's got an infield single right there. He has no business. He'll line out probably 15 times, but it won't even out. You take him when you can get him. I think this inning could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. And that misses one and one. One and one, the pitch. 
And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Nope. Fastball, and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Okay. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Good battle. Count remains full. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. On now to the top half of inning number two. All tied at one and one. So coming to the plate, Mike Talkman. He comes in with a six-game hitting streak to his credit, so he'll look to keep that rolling in this one. Here comes the first pitch. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Well, today's game provides the visiting squad with a chance to complete the series sweep, guys. And you can see why this team is in first place in the division. A solid ball club with good hitting and good pitching. And it's always key when you're playing interdivision squads. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Now this is a leadoff at bat. Great patience, and he's just waiting for that pitch that's too good to pass up. Grounder down the line at third, but this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. And here's the three-two from him. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Batting fifth, the second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. He's got three hits in six tries for the series. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A ball and no strikes. And he falls behind now, 2-0. Oh. Now here it comes. Hey. Count two one. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Digging in now for the Yankees, Luke Voigt. He drove in one of his team's two runs in yesterday's game. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit hard but foul to the left, and they'll try it again. Another 0 2 home. Well, oh, that's off the plate. <laughs> and 
And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second, tied one apiece. Brandon Drury will bat next. The head-to-head -head with James Paxton. He's gone three for 11. Brandon Drury. Here it comes. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. And even one and one count to Brandon Drury. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. And there's one down now. Batting it. The catcher. Number nine. Up next is Danny Jansen. It was an 0 for 4 day for him in yesterday's loss. First pitch coming. Here it is. Fastball just missed above the zone. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Outside, 3-0 now. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. 3-0 count, here it comes. 3-1. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Tuckman is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Batting ninth, the center fielder, Garrett Fisher. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the University of Virginia product, Derek Fisher. Axton has his sign. First pitch on the way. Two out, nobody on. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Pitch on the way. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Tuckman retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We'll go now to the top of the third. All tied at one and one. Top of the third set to get underway. And next to hit is the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Kyle Higashioka. First delivery to him on the way. Turned on down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight or nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days, you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you can swing the bat. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. 258 the average to begin play. Two home runs and 17 RBIs. And he watches one miss outside 2-0 now. And 
and he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. All even now, two and two. Fouled off. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1 1 ball game. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. On the ground to second base. This could be two. There's one. On to first, and they get them both. Made him throw a lot of pitches in that at bat, but he'll take the double play as a trade off for sure. Back to the top of the order now. And up next, the left handed hitting Brett Gardner. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. One ball, two strikes, count. Yeah. And this is foul tipped as he stays alive here. But meanwhile, that ball came right back at our home plate umpire, and he may need some attention at this moment. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Yanks held in check. Home half of the third coming up, tied at one. Welcome back as the Blue Jays look to get their bats going in the third inning. And you can say they've been trying to do that pretty much all year. At the start of the day, they find themselves as one of the worst teams in the league in hitting the long ball and scoring runs. I talked to one player before the game that told me he thinks things have sort of snowballed on them this year. They didn't get off to a good start. And since then, most everyone has simply been searching for answers and trying to do too much. He admitted it's been a frustrating year, but they have to keep Leading pushing up, forward and looking for better ways to generate of offense. Back to you guys. Go. All right, Heidi, thank Turn you. It. Now the pitch. Oh. Here's a knuckle curve that backs him up a bit. Ball one. Now the 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. And it's two balls and a strike to the Jays' leadoff batter. Two balls, one strike, the count. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Here it comes. Breaking ball is swung on and bounced to short. Torres has it. And there's one away. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Coming forward now, the Toronto designated hitter, Bo Bichette, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. 
That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. No batter, number 13. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that brings up the exciting Lourdes Gurriel Jr. First offering on its way. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Fastball misses away here. It's 2-0. and Hey, after the double is first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Bases are empty here with two men out. High and away, not close. 3-0. and I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Well, they were obviously pitching around him there, and I don't blame them. With the bases empty and two outs and a hitter of this caliber at the plate, make somebody else beat you. Next to bat for Toronto to Oscar Hernandez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Paxton comes set. First pitch on the way. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1-1 ball game. Hit hard on the ground to second. LeMayhew's got it. Quick throw to Torres to retire the side. One left for Toronto. Through three complete, all tied one apiece. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He'll go to work trying to do something about breaking this 1-1 tie. First pitch of the at-bat. The 1-0 is laid off for ball two. Three and oh now. Kind of frustrating as a pitcher when you start an inning off with three straight balls like he has here in the fourth. Makes you start wondering what's going on. Yeah. And that's over three and one. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Digging in for his second at bat, Torres. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. 
Ready with the 1 0. One run, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Had to be sitting something hard right there because he gave up on that pitch, but it was right down the chute. The one two. In the dirt, but it swung on for the third strike. The great equalizer, the changeup. That was a really good job of getting him to offer that one out of the zone. And it was all set up by the fact that he got ahead of the count and forced the hitter to have to protect. That's the name of the game. Giancarlo Stanton now as he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And it's fouled away. Fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's one and two. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. And Stanton's aboard. It's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Dan, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks like right there. That lawn dart felt so good. Oh, Dio, this guy's been due. He really needed that one. Into the box, Mike Talkman popped him up. Shaw is under it. Two down. The batter, the second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. And that sends DJ LeMahieu into the box. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Swing and a liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Now batter. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. At the plate now, Luke Voigt, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ball one. Two runs, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Hit high and deep to right center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Yankees forced to settle for one. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Yankees two and the Blue Jays one. back now here at Rogers Center and here's Heidi. Thanks Matt. In between innings I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at bats. Yes they've only scored one run but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right Heidi thank you. Ready for another chance. Rendell Gritcher is set to lead us off in the home half the of the fourth right inning. Rendell. Gritcher. Outfield shaded a bit to left center. The first pitch. The 
wind up and the 0 1. Outside for a ball, one and one. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0 2. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Fastball well outside. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. The 2 2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Stanton has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. The first baseman, number six, Travis Shaw. Stepping up to the plate, Travis Shaw. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch on its way. Help one and oh. Ground ball right into the shift. Torres scoops it up, and there are two away now. Now that so with two gone here in the fourth, let's check out our pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And both of these guys bringing it pretty good. 97 and 93 is the top recorded speed so far. Into the box, Brendan Drury comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Paxton's ready. First pitch on its way. Ball one. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. And he fouls this one off. Now the one and one pitch. Taken strike two. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Fouled off. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. Our score remains two to one. All ready to go in the top of the fifth and up to bat next it'll be the catcher Kyle Higashioka. Here's the first pitch to him. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1 0. This right handed pitcher, his bread and butter is that two seamer, and he loves to throw it inside. Fouled away. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. It's a slider taken for a ball. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. Even count, two balls and two strikes. 
right side but it's going to be a foul ball. Into the windup here comes the 2 2 pitch and a change up swung on and missed for the first down. He showed right there why having a good changeup is so valuable. Two and two and he flips one up there that the bottom really falls out at the last minute. It's so hard to pick up and it's even harder to make good contact with. At the plate Tyler Wade. Yes he'll take a look at ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. That's ball three. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. The center field, number 11. Brett. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Brett Gardner. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First offering on its way. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Now some definite signs of life in that Toronto bullpen. Both a lefty and a right-hander begin to throw. Before the 0-1, he'll check on first. And a dive, but he's back in. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Bouncer up the middle. He's got it to panic covering. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Down in order go the Yankees. They still lead it two to one. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring in Danny Jansen. The catcher. Number nine. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball inside. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Strike called two and one. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. And the pitch on 2 and 1. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. And easy take there. And it's 3 and 1 now. Great situation right here. Leading off the inning. You've got to find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. If it's in your zone, I want you swinging. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Derek Fisher the next to bat. 
as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Oh, one one count. Here's the pitch. Well, That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Three and one now. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor. Three and one. Right side defense aligned perfectly. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Hey, some guys look out there, Dan. They don't care. They can't now execute that. the ball look the other way. Here. It's not that easy. No. They're going to hit it as hard as they can right that into is. the shift and let the chips fall where they may. You know, it's hard, d -Row, when you've come up all the way through high school, Little League, college ball, and the minor leagues, and you're used to pulling the ball. That's the type of hitter you are. Some of these hitters are going to have to try to make some changes with these exaggerated shifts. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he fouls this one off. Hits are now even at four apiece. And it's one and one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1. But now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. As a look, now the pitch. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Ball two. A look over to first, and he'll dive back in. Lifted down the line in left, and this will wind up a foul ball. Now a throw over to first. Don't want to forget about it. Runners on first with one down. Fouled off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent How because bad? if it's put in play, a there's a good it. chance it's on the oh. ground for a double play. And hey, yeah. a strikeout yeah. always works too. Stepping in now, Bo Bichette. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Two and oh now. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Two and oh, here it is. This is line to left. And that's in there. Base hit. 
Hey, after starting a game 0 for 2 with two punch outs, that single had to feel good right there. Nice piece of hit. Morden. Goody hell. So now to the plate, Lourdes Gurriel, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Here's the 1-0. Takes this the other way to right, and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Blue Jays leave a pair. They still trail it here 2-1. to one. Late now, Gio Urshela. He's set to start it out for the Yanks here in the sixth. Gio Urshela. Here comes the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big leagues. Middle cut. His eyes lit up right there. This pitcher's lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire. Torres will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. He's set, now the pitch. And this is up and in ball one. Count one and oh. Fouled away. Here's the one and one pitch. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee, try and get you to ground into a double play. You have to set your sights at least belt high. But that finds its way through for a base hit. Yeah, and I think this is the yeah, case man. of a guy trying to rush and hoping to turn a Jump double play. And instead of getting two yeah. outs, they get zero outs, and runners are on first and second. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He singled his last time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Oh, and won the count. Hits are even right now at five aside. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. Ready now. Two-strike pitch on its way. I got to count one and two. These are the situations right here that make me miss wearing a uniform. The big spot, the cat and mouse of what's he going to throw. I'm down one, two. Can I battle back? The pitcher's trying to put me away. This is what the game's all about. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Low scoring game thus far, two to one here in the sixth. Hit on the ground out to short, reined in. One there, back to first, and they'll take care of Stanton as well. It's a double play. Now that, oh, that's a rally killer right there. Right. They were in great Talk. shape with two on and nobody out. But the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now, but there's two outs. Now batting, Mike Talkman. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point.
Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Breaking ball down around the knees, laid off and called a strike. Line drive to center field. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. Notch one in the score column as a runner from third crosses the plate. It's now three to one. Dan, as a former infielder, I apologize for him. Nothing's more frustrating or upset you more as a defender than making an error and seeing that guy come around to score. It, it, you know what? And that's one of those cases as a pitcher, D-Row. There's not much you can do. Listen, there are physical and there are mental errors, and you just have to, as a pitcher, go ahead and look past that now and try to pick up your teammate and try to get it out any way you can. Wilmer Font takes over here with the now runner at first and two gone in the inning. Number 63, Wilmer Fonk. To the plate now, D.J. LeMayhew. As he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little, it's 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle, cannot be late on that fastball. hit the other way out toward right field and here's Richard to make the catch and the side is retired a run on two hits for the Yankees to the bottom of the sixth we go four five and six coming up the Yankees are out in front three to one Luis Sessa enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth Leading off the inning to Oscar Hernandez as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. The 1 0 home. Is laid off, but in there for strike one. The 1 1 home. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. The 1 2. Misses for the second ball. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. And in a two run game right here, you really don't want to walk the leadoff guy to start an inning. You got to keep that tying run in the on deck circle as long as you can. Now the payoff pitch home is swung on and missed. He got him. Boy, and that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do the is right get field. on base Number and take 15. advantage of the strength right of his goal. game, which is his speed. But with right a strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Randall Gritchick at the plate now. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's one for two in this one. Wind up and the 0 1. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality AB and start the line moving again. And now pitch on the way. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. 
That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. So digging in next will be Travis Shaw, as he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. And a check swing here but he holds up far too late as it's strike three and the inning is over. Blue Jays go down in order. They still trail it here three to one. New inning set to get underway and stepping in the long ball threat Luke Voigt. First delivery to him on the way. In there and it's 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's 1 and 2. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. The 1 2. Skied into straightaway right. There to play it is Grichik, and that's the first out. Up next for the Yankees, the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Now at the plate, Kyle Higashioka. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. It's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. This is in the air out to left field. Waiting on it is Hernandez. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Up next for the Yankees, the designated hitter, Tyler Wade. Now in the box, Tyler Wade. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's the first pitch to him. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Swing and a miss and he's in the hole 0-2 now. And a good two strike pitch but he misses high one and two pretty standard fastball right there 0 and two now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something in like an off speed curveball down in the zone the one two misses ball two. Two out, nobody on. Popped up. 
Shaw will put this one away and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. It's the Yankees three and the Blue Jays one. Digging in once again, Brendan Drury. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First offering on its way. Aye. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hey. Towards second. And this will be put away easily for the out. Now batting, number 9. At the plate, Danny Jansen. He went down on strikes last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. Just a bit one. high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. One and one. And this is low ball two two and one going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike two and two two balls two strikes a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter so Dan what was your approach on the mound in that count do you still pitch for the strikeout here action pitch right here 2 2 the last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count 3 2 and that's the second out. Now batting, the center fielder, Derek Fisher. Ready once again, Derek Fisher. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. One and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. And another foul ball. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Three balls and two strikes to the Blue Jays center fielder. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Two two count. And he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Your attention, please. So now they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Ripley. Here's Joe Panic. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. 
Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. Throw over to the bag and a dive, but he's back. Here comes the first pitch. A runner on first with two away. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Britain's ready. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Fouled away. Ready on one and two. And this is taken for a ball high and tight. Two and two. Went to the slider to try and get him to chase, but it's full now, three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now the three and two pitch. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Yeah, that strategy is great when it works, but when it doesn't, it's ugly, and he was here to face one guy, and he couldn't get it done. Ready for another shot now. Bo Bichette. And, Dan, this could be a real make-or-break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. First pitch coming, here it is. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Gardner has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Blue Jays leave a pair, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Anthony Bass has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ready to begin the eighth. And up next, the left handed hitting Brett Gardner. Brett Gardner. First delivery to him on the way. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above the belt. That's so tough to lay off of. Now a check swing here. Did he go around? No, says the third base umpire, Patrick Johnson. It's ball one. The one-two. Good swing there by Gardner as he hooks this one foul down into the seats in right. This pitch is popped up. Drury in foul ground. One away. Now that Time to give you a look now at the numbers for our two starting pitchers. And really nothing to write home about on either line as neither guy was able to last even six innings. Digging in and looking for more. Gio Urshela. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. 
as a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Waiting on it is Hernandez. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batter, the shortstop, Labor Torres. Standing in, Torres. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch on its way. And some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right hander starts to get loose. Fly ball out toward left center field. On the run is Hernandez. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they hang on to a three to one lead. Adam Ottavino is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Number zero, Adam Ottavino. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that brings up the exciting Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. Now batting, the left fielder, Jay Oscar Hernandez. And now the Toronto number four hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. To short, hit hard. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one out base runner. Get the ball for this man. He needs to put that on the mantle. He's been struggling. The season hasn't gone according to plan, but he's staying pot committed and grinded out a nice knock. Standing in now, Rendell Gritcher. Slow roller down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul, it's 0-1. So the Bronx Bombers are maintaining a slim lead in the late going of this series finale. So if they can wrap it up, they'll complete the series sweep. Hey, Matt, what a great spot to be in. You're playing good baseball, you're going for the sweep, and you're leading by a few runs going into the later innings. Now it's just time to close the deal. Behind 0-2 now. Both teams with six hits so far. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. And it certainly would be a big morale boost to a team if they're able to complete a sweep like this one on the road in hostile territory. One of the keys is staying focused. This was a team right now that's been playing good baseball. They're in first place. And hopefully they're not losing sight of the schedule and looking ahead to the postseason because getting swept at this point of the season is not a particularly good look. Swing and a liner. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. The first baseman, number six, Bradley. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Travis Shaw. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch on its way. Nope. Two out with the man at first. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The 1-1 one, one pitch.
Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And this is going to find the seam as it scoots through on the carpet for extra bases. Hernandez rounds the corner and is headed home. He'll score easily as it's now a one-run ball game. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there safely on second and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. And now with the possible tying run at second here, we're going to have a pinch runner as they try to get a little more speed out there. Slider gets the outside. That's a strike. Comes set. The 0-1. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking here. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Strike three and the potential tying run left on base as the inning is over. A run on two hits here for Toronto. We played eight full. It's the Yankees three, the Blue Jays two. You're Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Now playing third base, number Kevin Biggio remains in the game, batting ninth and manning first base. Now at third base, number eight, Kevin Biggio. All set for the start of the inning, and standing in is the veteran outfielder Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch of the at bat. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. The 1 0. You'd never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Giancarlo swings, and this ball is hit well into left field. And gone! An absolute bomb. It's a solo blast off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. Number 26 for him on the season. And it'll give the Yankees a 4-2 lead. bullpen is going to have to take care of business in the bottom half of this inning but they're going to be able to throw a lot freer that they've got that extra run to play with insurance runs are always huge into the box Mike Talkman left you as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike he's got a hit in three at bats to this point There's a fastball well off the plate inside. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Fastball called strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. 
That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing now, pitches and location, but he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row, so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. At the plate now, DJ LeMayhew, as he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. I know that's the spot he didn't want to miss in, but he got away with it. And it's fouled away. The one two is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. High in the air out to center field. Giving chase is Fisher. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now batter, the first baseman, Luke Ford. Riding into the box, Luke Voigt. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, had him chopping at that, but it's nothing in one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Nope. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Ugh, is that ugly? You could probably throw anything out there to this guy. He'd swing at the Raza bag if you throw it up there. Down the third baseline. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. But so that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Well, this guy has proven he can make some athletic plays in the field. And he takes a decent route to the baseball here. But I'm not sure anybody is going to bring this one in. Ends up out of his reach and bangs up off the wall. At the plate, Kyle Higashioka. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Comes set and the 0 1. That's a ball. Two out here and a runner at second. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. And a good pitch here, but this is taken for a ball as the count moves to two and two now on the Yankee catcher. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment.
Hit hard on the ground towards second. Panic with the dive. Got him. Three thumbs up here in the booth following this gorgeous play at second base. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. So with a safe situation on tap, they'll hand the ball over to a formidable force indeed. The very hard throwing left hander, Aroldis Chapman. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And now it'll be the catcher, Danny Jansen. The catcher, number nine. First pitch coming, here it is. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0 and 2. to first right to him and he'll take this to the bag himself one gone here in the ninth so the leadoff man gone to start at the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play and as you see he's right up there among league leaders in that department digging in Derek Fisher a hit in two tries so far Now here it comes. Eight. Oh and one. Ready with the 0-1. Chapman is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty V, to being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you, or sometimes you even have some mess that you put on yourself. Hey, regardless if it's a mess that he's inherited or one that he's created for himself, this guy makes good pitches when the game's on the line. Ready with another 0-2. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. One out, nobody on. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Chapman has tossed over 30 innings so far this season. And during that time, he's worked to a sub one whip. Less than one base runner allowed per inning. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. High and deep to center field. Gardner going back. Still ranging back. Boom goes the dynamite. So it's a solo shot to dead center as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. Wow, that run in the top of the ninth is even bigger now. Without it, this thing would be tied. As it stands, though, they still have work to do to send this to extras or end this thing. This game's getting good now. In now, Joe Pennant. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now the 0-1. Skied into straightaway right. Stanton has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now back, the designated hitter. Oh. Yes. Blue Jays down to their final out now. And into bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. And he lays off for ball one. 
Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making them work for this one. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old P-sack and climb the ladder. Final strike for the Blue Jays. Now this is swung out, and here's another fly ball out to right field. And he will make the catch with ease, and the Yankees sweep the series and continue to set the pace in the division. Well, these guys feel pretty good about themselves, and they should. Anytime you can come into somebody else's ballpark and sweep a three-game tilt, you're doing something right. Great team effort. A one-run finish, 4-3 to three, the final tally today. New York took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. James Paxton wins his third of the season. Aroldis Chapman wraps it up for the save, his 23rd of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.